Hello everybody, welcome to my first ever YouTube video on Nomadically Ryan. Uh, this channel is going to be documenting my life living in my Honda Civic. And this video will be a car tour because a lot of people have been wanting, wanting to see the setup. I'm excited for this journey. I know a lot of people would probably be, I guess, freaking out. But I'm like, I'm prepared. Um... And I'm going to make the best of it. I'm excited to go to the national parks and just like explore the United States, maybe even Canada. I know some people do van life in Mexico as well. Oh, there's a bug. But yeah, I'm excited, guys. I'm excited. So should I just get into it? I guess I should give a little bit more info about myself. My name is Ryan. I'm known for my ASMR channel, Ryan ASMR. Um, but... Due to circumstances, I can't afford living in an apartment anymore. So I'm putting all my stuff in a storage unit and I've already converted my Honda Civic to be fully like livable, I guess. I lived out of my car three years ago for about a year. So I've already like been to a lot of the national parks, but I wasn't making content at the time. I was just living life. But yeah, this time my whole plan is to document and journal everything. Uh, that way I could show people that you could do it too if you wanted to. And that car living doesn't have to be a bad thing. As long as you're prepared, I think you can make the best out of the worst situations. And just how you view things and mindsets and all that stuff. And you have to be kind of like witty and smart to, to be able to, I guess, stealth camp and... Just do things people wouldn't normally think about. Um, so I'll go over all of that. But other than that, it's going to be a great year or two. Um, and I'll show you guys the setup. So this is where I'm stationed. This is majority of where I sit um, throughout the day. I also have this silicone. See how it's all sticky? So I could put my phone here and like other like stuff if I'm just stationed so it doesn't like slide down. Um, we got two two car mounts essential for GPS and stuff. And then over here I have my bed, sleeping bag, sleeping liner which I just used last night. And let me tell you it makes a huge difference, a lot warmer and I like the, the fabric. And then now I only have to wash the sleeping liner. I highly suggest this because I used to just sleep in the sleeping bag and like it would stink and you know sleeping bags are difficult to wash. And then down here we have a tri-fold memory foam mattress. It's about a hundred dollars on Amazon. Um, I suggest you guys get this one if you are planning on living in a small car. Do not get an air mattress. Air mattresses are uncomfortable and they break pretty easy. I've seen like other YouTube channels recommend that, but I haven't seen anybody use a tri-fold mattress because they fold up as well and it's it's super comfortable. Um, and then I'll show you guys the base later. But what I do, this is how I power my car, or not power my car, this is how I power my electronics. So anytime the car is running, I have a fast charger, which is essential. You need a fast charger, not just your standard USB, like, 5 watt charger. You need to get, like, a, a 75 watt charger or a 100 watt charger, because it will charge up your iPhone within, like, 30 minutes to an hour if you're driving. Um, which is great. Uh, here we have some face wipes. That's how I clean my face sometimes. Baby wipes for showers, face, and just like everything. This is my toiletry bag. When it, when it is nighttime and I'm going to sleep, a lot of the stuff will go on my dash. And then I just move everything back down once I'm awake and stuff. I also suggest you get these. This is another, it came in a pack, um, but silicone, like, anti-grip things. They're for cars, but that way things don't slide around, and you could just, like, place them down. Um, super cheap, and then it's nice. Um, here we have a tray table. Oh, this is how I cook. I need to clean the dishes. 
um, but this tray table is just, I guess, for eating on. I attach it to the steering wheel. I'll show you guys. So if I want to do work or something or just eat on it, I have it here. So that's that. Let's take a look at just some bonus storage. Um, this is relatively new, so I'm not sure what to put here. I put napkins. And then I also have a temperature and humidity gauge. It's just good to know because right now in the car it's 68 degrees. I have these string lights. What are they called? Uh, fairy lights or something? They're super cheap. They're like five bucks for two and I just intertwine them. Um, intertwine them with the, I guess, the handrails. So it works like that. It's pretty long. And how it's powered. I have this little rechargeable pack with the rechargeable batteries, but I don't know how long this will last. <laughs> I've used it a couple times and I have no issues, but you could also use these fairy lights with a portable like power bank. So like a 10,000, I don't know what the power measurements are, but the you know, small little power bank. We got my water. This one is a great jug for, I guess, transferring and refilling um, because you could take this off as well. I used to get the crystal geyser, but they took the handles off, um, the carrying candles, which made everything so easy. But I still buy it because the crystal geyser one is, once I finish that bottle, I use it as a pee bottle. Um, we got a rechargeable lantern, essential. Get rechargeable everything. Uh, don't get battery operated stuff because you don't, batteries are expensive and they don't last long. Whereas you could just get rechargeable things and it'll last forever. We got my memory foam pillow. And then this is, I guess the setup back here. You could see that I took out my passenger seat and I took out I took out the back seats, um, the back part. It still has the cushions on like the bottom. Um, but yeah, so it extends into there. Over there in that corner is my CO2 detector for carbon monoxide. So just in case, you know, you never know, but that's an essential. You don't want to like accidentally suffocate in your car. Um, okay, let's go take a look back here. I also have these nets that go, these are essentials. You need to get these for your windows. They're like bug nets. So during the night, um, I could crack down my window to get air if it's hot and no bugs will get in. Like it's essential and it's good for privacy as well. Yeah, essential. <laughs> I will have all the items that I have linked on my Amazon storefront in the YouTube description. So if you guys are interested in any of these items, they are on my Amazon storefront. Here is the storage area, the messiest part. Um, we got my backpack, which I got this one for free. I'm gonna invest in an Osprey backpack because this one is just too heavy and not comfortable for hikes. I'm gonna be doing lots of hiking, so um, it's a great backpack for like the city and school, but not for hiking. It's, it's gigantic. Um, this, I guess, junk, um, tuna packets, tortillas, which is like my main meal, just tuna and tortilla. This is my cooking mesh bag. I suggest you get a mesh bag, um, because when I do the dishes, everything goes back in here. It has my coffee, creamer, the propane, all that stuff, and then it, it could air dry so nothing gets, like, moldy. We got a hammock. I haven't had to use it yet, but I have a rechargeable fan. So that's that's gonna be exciting. Uh, we got microfiber towels, which is essential as well for showers. Um, and I guess just going on hikes, I have two, two separate ones, one for showers and one for hiking. It's like a beach towel, but lightweight, thin, fast drying. It's amazing. Uh, gone with the cotton towels. Here is my hang-up toiletry bag. Um, it has a mirror if I need it, and then all my toiletries and all that fun stuff. Um, this I haven't really used yet, but this is a solar-powered 
um, for like backpacking trips. It's a lantern that extends and it can charge solarly and you could uh, charge your devices, I believe, with it as well. Okay, what else do we got here? Ah, oh, to show you guys this. This is the book of all books. If there's one thing you buy, buy this book by Michael Joseph Owold. It's the new edition. It's a complete guide to the national parks, but it's also a guide for like old things United States. If you're in the United States and want to travel, it will have things to do in every state, state parks, um, trails, all the info you need, campsite information. Oh, gross, not the gateway arch. Disappointment. <laughs> But it has everything, and like the essential, like I use these maps so often um, for the national parks and whatnot. And then, oh, amazing. Look at that. You could do cave tours, which I'm going to be doing soon. This is something I want to do now that um, COVID is kind of over. I think things will be back open so I could do um, the cave tours. But yes, get this book. It's, I had I have the older version of it and I used it every single day. Okay. What else do we got over here? Honestly, that's pretty much it. Oh. This, this is my sunroof cover for the front. So for that, essential for privacy and keeping the temperature, I guess, cool. I also built these window covers. each window so see how it says passenger um, so this would go on that window so this is the side that face inwards and then this one's the side that face outwards the reason why i suggest everybody to add like a black cover or cloth to the to the side facing outward is so that it looks like your windows are really tinted at night and not that you're living in your car um, because I know if you were to just leave it like this, it would be so obvious that you're living in your car because who <laughs> has reflectors on each window? So yeah. Here is the trunk. It is kind of full, but it is organized. We have kitchen stuff like seasoning, nutritional yeast. Here I have old things like car related, so a, a jump starter, which is essential. Get a jump starter. And I have like uh, air compressor in here, tire gauge, and uh, like fix it tire pack thing in case I get a flat. Um, first aid kit, gloves, socks, mouthwash bug stuff, a lot of kitchen stuff, toilet paper, um, a cooler, which I don't actually use with ice. I just have food in here so it like lasts longer, like, I don't know, like protein bars and the tuna packets in case it does get really hot on a summer day. Like I want the food not to like get destroyed inside my car. Um, that's like the essentials. We got hiking boots, we got snow, um, snow tracks or something like that, the snow thingamabobs. And then I also have thermals and backup clothes in here and a bag of plastic bags. But yeah, that is the full car tour. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you have any tips, let me know. Um, I still have like a bunch of more stuff I could get, like make videos on. Um, but that's the gist of the car setup and how I do things. Um, so yeah, thank you guys. And thank you all for subscribing, liking the video, and I'm excited for the future and all the content I could create and show you guys. Um, I could go over places where I park, where I think is safe, and how I do things. Just, just ask away and I'll try to make a video answering them. But yeah, goodbye guys.